today I'm going to continue a tour of my Minecraft city. Uh, last time I gave a brief tour of my little rich person island over here. Today I'm going to continue the tour over here on this section of the city, uh, which is also kind of like an Egyptian, I guess, themed deserty, deserty city. Um, so let's start at this end. As you can see, this part of the city starts to turn into kind of a more medieval style city. So I guess I'll keep going with the Egyptian part of it. Um, down here we got a nice collection of small houses, basically just a room with a bed in them. Um, if anybody watched my last video, you will notice that I like to actually furnish a lot of these buildings. I hate to keep them unfurnished. little fountain here so people can get water, park out there, a uh, little public library over here, more houses, another little park, and behind the library is, I believe this is a museum, I first spent a little while since I built this building, but I'm pretty sure this is, oh uh, yeah, it's a museum, it's like a painting ah. keep it symmetrical. I have the grouping of houses over here with the fountain in the middle and then the building building um, and a well at that end so they can get waters in addition to the fountain. And over here I've got another big fountain so people can get water. Uh, also considering that sort of theme of houses, houses, building, fountain, houses, houses, buildings, fountain, houses. This looks like an office. I think I built this as like offices. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I separated these into two separate buildings. Some sort of business and another business, like a leather worker or something. Along those lines, my golem standing guard here. church or a meeting house. Oh, it's a courthouse. Haha, uh -huh. that's right. The uh, judge obviously would be up here and these are the two stands for the people to present their case and then the public can watch. Kind of like uh, our courthouses. Some more of those small houses over there. Some villagers hanging out. Guard tower over here to keep track of this area over here. It's actually when I first built this section over here, none of this was built up at all, so this is kind of the uh, wilderness over here. So that's why I got little towers and guard posts. Uh, another little park, just a little space of grass. Pretty large farm to keep my villagers fed. And over here is the treasury. Uh, gotta move out of the way, buddy. So got some desks, offices here, got a nice little vault here, and then if you come down here, you get an even bigger vault in the basement. More valuables, gold, gold for the uh, government. Nice little garden here, little fountain slash uh, well so people can get their water. More houses, fountain houses. I see that pattern appearing here. This is empty. Over here we've got a nice little water source, ponds, and then if you follow it all the way over here, just draining out into the main river. A little guard tower here to keep a look out over the ocean since, uh, you know, I guess if somebody wanted to invade, they would come by ship. Another little fountain over here so people can get their water or bathe. Nice little house here that gentleman just walked out of. The bed. The building here, I think like an office. 
Uh, yeah, another house. House. Here's a house. It's a little bit nicer than some of the other ones. A lot of places to sit, hang out. Nice little library, beds. Nice view over here. Some more houses, kind of in that same style. Nice little parks so people come sit and hang out. Yeah, it's not a bad little area. Not quite as nice as over there, but still, uh, you know, could be much worse. This is also an office over here that I made. Some other small houses, a little park in between. Cat hanging out. It's a slightly bigger office. And uh, a nice uh, another brick floor. You can tell they're doing well. Uh, some sort of cultural or religious symbol. A little uh, obelisk. Kind of an Egyptian theme. Lots of lights to keep the uh, monsters from spawning. This oh, is a government building, kind of like a parliament or congress. People can meet, talk on the floor, that kind of thing. Actually, it's a nice, cool kind of view, looking out over the water. I think it's kind of all by itself over there with the obelisk. Another park over here. This is, I think, some sort of a religious structure. And again, in this little section here, you can look out over the water. Got some ships over there. That one doesn't have any sails. There's some more houses over here. Uh -huh. Yeah, sorry guys. Just gonna come. Uh, Take a quick look. Yep. Over here we got a pub. And since they're so close to the docks and the ship, it looks like it's a little crowded. Ooh. Let me take care of this guy real quick so he doesn't hurt. Me. There we go. That should help them relax. But as you can see, they have a nice little outdoor seating area so they can look out over the ocean. Yeah, the indoor pub. The bunny rabbit for some reason. A nice little outdoor seating area. Also another fountain, some more farms, some more houses with some back patios which are kind of cool. You follow over here, got a nice mansion. So if you come up the main stairs, look out over here, there's a little yard, courtyard thing in the front. Come in here, it's nice and furnished, kitchen, library. Yeah, that's right, it's a cool little glass wall. A giant bed in there. Again, come back out over here on this side. It's not finished, I haven't done anything yet with that. It's this giant house I built over here, I don't even think this is furnished yet. No. I think I just finished putting the lighting in the other day. All these guys washed up down there, that's fine. But I like this house, it's kind of cool because you can, you know, obviously at the indoors, it's pretty spacious. Nice aesthetics. And then they'll have a nice, they have a nice courtyard out here with the water. You can take a dip, relax, get water to cook with. A lot of monsters spawning for some reason. And then over here, it's a nice little uh, collection of water for people to get water to cook, drink, bathe. Got a blacksmith. Hmm. The llama. And this is, I think, like a bakery cafe kind of style thing. And here is a little shop for people to buy uh, cloth to make clothes with. I'm going to run back over here. So that's the parliament building right there. This is the constable's office, as you can see, keeping the people safe. Some jail cells over here. Gonna do a blue and white theme for the constable symbol. So 
some more houses, some more farms. I think this is another blacksmith, yeah. You come back up here, there's the houses. More houses, guard tower. Then over here is a little bit more upscale. As you can see this nice little uh, avenue walkway with the bushes design. Uh, these houses over here. I mean, this is a map. This is a map maker, a cartographer. In fact, I think I have it. Yeah, it's right. I have it marked. Hmm. This is the general office. Another guard tower over here, since this is kind of going back out into no man's land, looking out over the ocean, keeping people safe. It's my little fortress over there, keeping track of that area. Another house, another house. He looks kind of unsure if he wants to go in or not. Another guard tower, water, and a few more houses. This is a public bath. Kind of in that Roman theme. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to show off over here, but I think that's pretty much it. Another blacksmith. Got some religious structures over here. Nice little lookout right here. Just if you want to come relax, think, ponder. And then this section over here isn't done yet, unfortunately, but I'm working on it. It's my next step. But yeah. So thus concludes the uh, tour of the Egyptian desert section of uh, the capital city for the empire slash kingdom. I guess I can show this off real quick. This section is not done either, unfortunately. It's been a work in progress for a long time. Got the docks over here with the ships. Let's show off the ship real quick. Nice little captain's quarters. This little private library on board so you can read while you're at sea. Plenty of free time. Nice little place to sleep. Nice little glass window in the background. Good view for him. And I don't think I have anything stored down here. Sometimes on the ships I put goods and items that need to be shipped, but this one is empty. This is the sleeping quarters for the crew of the ship. Little cooking area, hangout area. Also want to keep them entertained while they're at sea, so I've got all those books. Go back through the cargo hold. And then of course the steering section for the captain. I think this is also a like little pub for yeah, it's a pub for the sailors to come meet up after, you know, in between sailing. This is a shipbuilder section where they're going to build all the ships, they'll flood this with water, and then launch it out into the sea, down here. Of course it's the middle of the night, so, uh, you know, nobody's working on the ship right now, but... And then over here, got a smaller boat building, and a monster caught in between the uh, scaffolding for some reason. And then over here is supposed to be a storage area for uh, the, I guess you would, the road crew, so to speak, or the maintenance people. It would have a bunch of excess uh, stone for them to repair their roads with, but they seem to be all out. And this little fortress here is just a lookout since this section over here is sort of uninhabited. It's still a work in progress, you never know it's gonna come from that direction. And then even down here, I have a nice little place for the soldiers to sleep. Full of weapons and armor and bows and arrows. Yeah. And a nice little sleeping quarter for the soldiers. So... Yeah. That concludes the tour of the desert slash Egyptian wing of the city. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Next time I'm going to show off the medieval section over here. I have, uh, I have actually a bunch of cities if you 
leave the city and head out. There's a, I have like a massive roadway that connects all the different cities together. Uh, in the future, I guess I'll show off some of those. So if you leave the city, you can see there's these roadways and you can just kind of follow these forever. And they lead out, branch out to different cities. Uh, but that's it for today. I'm going to leave it here. So uh, hope you enjoyed.